Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because I have my new bullet journal here. Um, don't mind my nails throughout this video. I can't find nail polish remover in my house, so they're just gonna look like trash for a little bit. Um, but yeah, so in my last bullet journal video, I did mention that I was going to be starting a new bullet journal, and today is that video. So this is the um, Archer and Olive A5 dotted notebook. So it looks like this. Mine's already a bit messy, but it comes with a pen loop on there. It comes with two um, bookmarks, and I got the little flower one because it reminded me of my tattoo mostly so yeah um, I really have been enjoying this so far let me just say I love this notebook compared to the other one a lot more um, the pages are so much thicker and just such great quality so um, when you open it up it says this book belongs to and it has a little spot for your name and there's the brand right there, Archer and Olive, so I haven't done that yet, and then there's also like a little front page that I also haven't done yet, and then this is my future log, um, so I did use stickers for this, um, it's really simple, just I used these little calendar stickers and I'll put the link below if I can find it for these. Um, I don't have the shop name on me right now but I will um, link it down below if I can find it. And so yeah I ordered those so those are just the months and then I have this um, skinny washi tape that I put down. Um, as you can tell, there is some spots that are whited out, but it doesn't look too bad, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, and then these stickers also came with the calendars, so those are like holidays, um, Canada Day, Victoria Day, Labor Day, um, all of those. And I haven't really filled it out, as you can tell. I just have the holidays, um, uh, Father's Day, um, I didn't put Mother's Day. Yet, and then I have the um, when the Erin Condren life planner comes out. So yeah, that's just my future log. Super simple. I really enjoy it. So yeah, and then this um, year um, in Pixel sticker is also from the same shop. I'll link it down below again. So this spread was inspired by Cindy at. Um, Llamas Love Lettering. I think that's her channel. Um, I'll also link her down below if I can remember to link all these things. I know people say that and then they forget, but I'm going to try to link everything down below. So this was inspired by her. She has kidney um, problems and so she has like a year in kidney pain um, spread. So I kind of stole that and made it my own. So mine is a year in gallbladder pain. Um, if you guys, um, don't know, I do have some gallbladder issues going on. But yeah, so this is a full sticker, this, so it was super easy to just slap on. And, um, in March, you can see I just filled out, like, three days, because that's when I started having the issue, was, like, this was my first attack. So, and I didn't start my bullet journal until now, but, um... Yeah, I have April filled out, and then it's the beginning of May now. So this is just my um, little uh, index type thing. So I just have a regular ass day, um, just felt shitty. Um, and then the green is I took a med to prevent. So sometimes I feel like I'm going to get an attack if I eat something and I think it's going to bother me. I'll take a medication before I eat or after I eat. Um, so if I don't end up having an attack, I just put the green so I know that I just took a medication. And then the pink is I had a full attack. And then here we have um, my period tracker 
um, pretty simple. I do like this layout a lot. Um, this number strip is from Planning with Kay, and I'll also um, link her shop down below as well. So my intention with this was I did buy these little um, little blood droplet um, cute little stickers, but they're too big for this spread. So my my idea was instead of like making these dots bigger, I was gonna put the little um, sticker when I had my period but unfortunately they were too big and they just didn't work so right now I just have um, dots and then on the days I'm on my period I just make the dot bigger and then these ones are kind of like um, those are like spotting so yeah that was a really long period <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to track it um, as best as I can so yeah, I really like how this turned out. I love this spread, even though it's like a lot of pain, because <laughs> like your period is painful sometimes, and this is painful, but um, this makes it a little bit better, because it's really pretty to me. So the next page is this washi tape um, spread, which I really like how it turned out. So these are like little hangers, and then your washi tape is like hanging up. So I did kind of color coordinate it. Bleh. I did try to color coordinate it as best as I could. So I started from here and went this way and then up around. I was like, why is there blue way up here and it's not with here? But yeah, I didn't go this way for some reason. I just went straight down, which it might have made more sense to go all across this way. But anyways. Yeah, and I still have some hangers left to grow. The only thing is, is like if I get like, um, say a blue washi or like a pink washi, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna have room to put it up there and it's gonna kind of throw it off. But, I mean, hopefully I'll grow my washi a little bit more, so, um, I'll need more pages anyway. When I'm doing like my monthly spread and I'm, um, coloring, um, trying to color coordinate, it's really, um, helpful to be able to, like, flip back and, like, try to match a color. I did that, um, with my May spread, actually, so it was really helpful. So, I do like this, and I really think I need some more washi, because this is not a very good collection, if you ask me. But, anyways, it is super cute. So, the next spread, um, is kind of... I don't really know how to feel about it. I see a lot of people doing like the grid um, space and I just, it's not that I'm not good at math because like I did really good in math when I was in high school but for some reason I just can't wrap my head around like, like this is too overwhelming for me like all the different lines and like all the different spaces like it's just too much in one for me so I don't think I'm gonna refer to this page like at all but I did try it so like say for instance um, I wanted to go halfway I could flip and then you could kind of line it up and be like okay that's halfway like I do see where it would come in handy but it's just not practical for me but yeah, it's there. And then I do have a blank page here if I think of something else I want to add over here to make this a little bit better. Um, so I do have some extra space there. So for this spread, I am trying to cover it up because I'm really embarrassed at how much I'm spending on stuff lately. So I'd rather not showcase that to everyone. But this is my online order tracker. So... I have um, the date that I ordered it from the website and the description of it, the price, when it was shipped, and then when it was delivered. So I'm going to keep both pages for that because I just can't even with shopping right now. <laughs> so yeah, I have a lot of orders there. That's kind of embarrassing. We're just going to move on really quickly. So this spread is also... Um, not something I want to completely showcase, um, but it is like, um, my weight loss tracker, so it's kind of like a game board, it has little, like, squares, and then it kind of moves around, um, but, so it, the title is just Health, Getting My Life Back, and then I have a start, um, weight, and then an end weight, 
So, yeah, I didn't really want to showcase that, but it's in here. And then um, right here I'm going to put um, a needs and wants list because I can't seem to distinguish the two that I, I think I need everything. Not that I just want it, so. <laughs> um, yeah, and I did have one of these in my last bullet journal. I didn't use it as much as I probably should, so I'm going to add that in here as well. So that's just, I just haven't done that yet. I forgot. And then I did leave another double spread in case I think of any more collections I want to add in the front. Um, in my old bullet journal, I did have, like, the movies and a bookshelf and stuff like that, but I found I didn't end up using it as much as I hoped as I, or I thought I would use it. Like, the movies, like, I'd watch a movie and I would, I would completely forget about that spread to go and, like, fill it in that I watched it, so I decided not to add those this time, but... This page is here in case I think of something I do want to add or if I decide later that I do want one of those. So it's there for future reference. I hope I don't leave it blank like I probably, um, most people probably do. <laughs> they leave a spread for future um, ideas that never actually happen. But yeah, it's there in case I need it. So then we jump right into May. This is my first month in my new bullet journal and I decided since I am still doing school that um, and I'm kind of busy, I decided to use um, a sticker kit. So this is from Planning with Kay. Again, I'll put her link in the description. And I just want to say I'm absolutely loving this. I've, I never thought I would like stickers in my bullet journal, but I'm really loving this kit so far. So I'm definitely interested in getting more. I did pick up two when I ordered from her, so I'm super excited to use the other one. And I'm definitely probably going to order more because I think they're just so helpful and they're just beautiful. So this is the crystal kit. So it comes with three pages and then you can add the add-on sheet. So I have four pages here. Um, as you can tell, this one, I just have one like label left. So I used those three. This page is had like three labels here. Um, these were kind of titles. Um, these were numbers. These were days of the week. This was another label, so um, I do have some titles and some days of the week left and a couple labels, so I still have room for those. And then I do have the decor page here. I used quite a bit off of it, but I still have more as well. And then this one was the add-on sheet, so it had another, it had like a blue label that I used, and then it had number strips, which are so helpful. And then these are the days of the week. So that's that. And I'm just going to show you how it looks. So this is like my title page, just really simple. Just says May. And then I put some decor in the corners. So really pretty. And then I kind of stuck with my... Um, my layouts that I did in my old bullet journal because they did work for me most of them so um, on this side I have my dreams I do like to log my dreams because I just think they're so interesting to look back on um, I ended up when I pulled out my old bullet journal that I wasn't using for months and I read back on some of the dreams I had it was just really interesting and it was kind of insane because some things like now my life is a little bit different and I was like, whoa, I dreamed about that and now like my life is kind of reflecting on that and it's just so interesting. So I do like to keep um, my dreams. Okay, so I excuse if I go really fast. I feel like I'm about to have a gallbladder attack actually and I do really want to get this filmed. It's beautiful lighting today so I do want to just get this filmed so I can put it up eventually but yeah, I'm sorry if I'm trying to get through it quickly but this is the monthly calendar which I really love so I just have May up here I'll zoom in for you guys 
And then I did um, kind of highlight the tops of the boxes and I put the numbers from the sticker kit on the top. And then these are from the kit as well, the date, um, the days of the week. So yeah, it's really pretty. And then over here I used one of the labels and it just says this month. So if there's stuff that don't have like day specific dates, um, I can write it here, just things I have to get done or whatnot. And then here I did use this label that, and um, I added the font that says monthly overview because I just found it was kind of bare. So yeah, I really love this. It's beautiful. So that's that. And then this is my sleep tracker and my mood tracker, which I'm loving. So I did use one of the number strips that came on the add-on page, which is so helpful. And then I used one of the labels and I just wrote sleep. And then I have the numbers up at the top. And I just kind of fill in with a line like when I went to sleep and when I woke up. And then for my mood bank, I found this idea on Pinterest and I fell in love with it. So it's kind of like a like claw machine for some reason. It reminds me of that. But it's so cute. I love the idea of it. So I used one of the labels and then I used things off the decor sheet. And I made these little like um, columns. So this is a bad day, an okay day, a good day, and a great day. And you kind of fill it in as you go. So I added these four gems for the first four days. And I did put a little number in them just to signify what day that was. And then I colored it in with that color. So yeah, hopefully I'll have more over here. But um, yeah, you just kind of fill them up as you go. And I think it's such a cute idea. So then I have a one line a day spread that I haven't started yet, but I used another one of the number strips and then this label with the um, the font that says one line a day. And then this is my expense tracker. I love the little um, label that I did. So the little girl with all the money is a sticker from Stickerific. I'll show you. So that's where I got that one from. So yeah, that's a really cute page. And then I did leave this page. I do want to make a playlist page. For some reason I like to do that at the end of the month. So I left that blank. And then for my weeklies, I've decided to try something new. Instead of like putting all the days of the week and planning it out, um, you know, all at once. I decided to just kind of go day by day. So, um, I did get this, um, kind of idea from Sydney again, um, Llamas Love Lettering. I love her videos. So I did use one of the labels, um, that came in the kit and I just wrote the number there. I did have it here and I didn't like it so I whited that out. And then I did put a little, um, pill sticker because if you notice, I didn't have a habit tracker this month. So... These are again from Stickerific and that's just how they look. Um, so yeah, I noticed my habits are literally just my pills. So <laughs> instead of making a whole spread for just reminding myself to take my pills, I thought just a little pill sticker would work just as well instead of using a whole page for it. So that's what I decided to do this month. And yeah, so that's just Monday. And I'm going to just list what I have to get done or whatever that day. And then I'll go on to the next day. Because some days you might need more space than other days. And yeah, so that's it so far. And I just used this washi tape at the top and bottom to kind of make it look a little bit better. So that's my new bullet journal. And I'm super happy with it. And I'm loving the sticker kit. I'm definitely going to be using those a lot more in my bullet journal um I've been obsessed with stickers lately so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm going to go lay down and try not to die and I hope you guys have a great day I'm going to try to upload 
um, once a week. Um, for some reason I'm gravitating towards Sundays, but I don't want to like put that out there that I'm going to upload every Sunday. But I'm going to try to have a schedule, um, but it's not set in stone yet. So I'm going to just kind of test it out a little bit and see how that goes. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!